When you come to Hong Kong, you need to try Yum Cha. It's a super popular brunch type meal where you sit down, drink Chinese tea, and eat loads of different dim sum. Let's eat. Now, if you want a dim sum feed after a night of drinking, Sun Hing is the place. It's open at 3 a.m. in the morning, but it's known locally as 4 a.m. dim sum. Now, it's not as polished as your other restaurants, and it's packed on the weekend. But you can't beat a local yum cha vibe like this. Now, at a dim sum place like this, you can actually have a look at your dim sum before you choose which one you want. We got spinach dumplings, but I'm keen on some ha gao. And you just take it back to the table. So these are the infamous chicken feet. Hong Kongers love them. They've got a chicken foot fetish. So shove it in your mouth, suck off the, the meat and the skin and all the flavor, and then you take the little bones back out into your bowl. So these are my favorite dim sum dessert. It's called uh, Lao Sa Bao. It's the runny custard bun, but they're always so good to finish off with. It's like a, an egg yolk custard in the middle. It's very sweet. So Dragon Eye is actually a nightclub that turns into a pretty nice yum cha restaurant during the day. The dim sum here is all you can eat, which is awesome. But pace yourself, because there is a lot of choice. So this is one of my favorites. It's called cheung fun, and it's basically prawns wrapped in a flat rice sheet with some soy sauce over the top. Always good. So this is pretty much as healthy as your dim sum's gonna get. It's just spinach inside, but still tasty. Look at the amount of prawn on that. All right, it's pork dumpling in soup time. What is the best way to do this? I've lost it. How not to eat a soup dumpling, 101. If you want your dim sum modern and a little bit cute, then this is the place. Yum Cha's name might not stand out because, well, that's literally their name. But they take their dim sum to the next level by decorating it as cute little animals. It's just a pork bun. If you only get one of the dim sum, make sure you get the custard bun, because you can actually squeeze the custard out of its mouth. It's a little bit creepy. Look You Tea House is one of the more traditional yum cha places in Hong Kong. It's been operating since 1933, and the decor is a throwback to Hong Kong in the olden days. Let's start with the shrimp dumpling. In Cantonese, it's called ha gao. Always like the classics. So you might have heard of sumai before, but this is sumai with a sliver of pork liver on top. Um, but if anyone loves liver, they're going to really enjoy this one. Me, not so much. This is steamed chicken bun. It's like the most epic steamed bun you've ever seen. It's pretty good, actually. That's a breakfast in itself. So this is a baked flaky pastry barbecue pork bun. You might have tried these before as little, uh, little triangles, but this is, uh, this is the big serious grown-ups version. Mm. It's really good, but it's pretty full on. Like, it's quite a sweet barbecue pork with like a biscuity outside. I've never had this before, but it is a steamed bun with sesame paste and egg yolk. It tastes kind of like, uh, I don't know, 
करते हैं हिना पारा So yum cha comes at lots of different levels and price points. And if you want to eat dim sum at a three Michelin starred restaurant, this is the place to do it. So this one's kind of exciting. It's abalone and chicken in like a little puff pastry. Oh wow, pretty damn tasty. So I've had turnip cake before in dim sum. It's a fairly popular dish, but uh, these guys are turning it up by putting it in crispy pastry. Hmm, that's really really tasty. And the pastry is really delicate as well. This bad boy kind of reminds me of a sumai, but it's definitely not because it's filled with lobster and scallop. It's just really yummy and fresh. I could eat a lot of those easily. Delish. Yum cha is a must when you're in Hong Kong. So get out of your comfort zone and try lots of different dishes, especially the lao sa bao and chong fan, but maybe not the chicken feet.